Hey guys, Ryan back here at Ground Control. I'm here with Tony. Uh, Tony was a high school and college wrestler uh, here in Maryland. And um, we had a couple of requests coming in for people that wanted to learn a little bit about takedowns or, or moves that we can do from our feet. Whether it be MMA or Jiu Jitsu, takedowns will go a long way if you know what you're doing from your feet. In Jiu Jitsu, it's like a free two points. Um, you, last thing I do is step out there with no idea what to do at the very beginning of a match. So we're gonna go over a couple of basic takedowns that we can use. Later on this week, I'm gonna go ahead and show a couple of solo drills and break down some of the mechanics of takedowns uh, a little bit deeper. But for the time being, Tony and I are just gonna go over some basic moves that you can do from your feet. So the first one that we're gonna go over is called the double leg. Um, most people know it, so Tony is my partner right now, is in his stance. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and approach Tony in my stance as well. And now we're gonna go just based off of a no setup shot to go over the mechanics of the entry and the finish. When I come in towards Tony, I'm gonna go ahead um, in my stance walking forward. Now, I'm gonna pretend there's an invisible line attaching his toes right now. And I wanna step my lead leg right over that line. So as I step, boom, I also lower my level. So as lowering my level, what I mean is I'm gonna start bending my lead leg almost like a 90 degree angle, and my chest is gonna come down towards my quad. The power for this is gonna come off of my back foot, so I really wanna make sure that I engage my back foot with it. So as I come in, I step, my level lowers, and now I'm driving off my back foot, and I'm gonna put my knee down right in front of my toes. So just let my knee take place. I don't wanna drop straight to my knee. That's a mistake a lot of people make. We don't want that space. We wanna push through our partner. So as I step, I'm pushing off and my knee drives down towards the mat. Now you see my hips are in on Tony right now. My back is straight and my head is up. We're gonna rotate a little bit just so that we get a good angle with the finish. Everything's in nice and tight. My outside leg is up, planted, and ready to push off at an angle. My head, I don't wanna be looking down at the mat. That's gonna start straightening my body out and not have my hips under me. Think about good posture when we're trying to break the guard. Same thing when we're in on a shot. I wanna make sure I have that good posture. From here, my arms are gonna vine down the legs. So as I'm vining, I wanna keep nice and tight my hips in. Now I'm gonna drive at an angle, cutting across and cutting his far leg out. As I drive off the near hip, we're gonna cut across the far. Looking to establish side control um, and not landing in his guard. So we'll go one more time from another angle. We're in our stats here. I'm gonna walk forward. Now the head that my head wants to end up, the hip that it wants to be on, just kind of good uh, rule of thumb to start in your stance, working my head towards that side. If I put my head over here, there's something blocking me from being able to take my shot. So I want my head to end up on this hip. So as I step in, I'm gonna step and lower, pushing off my back foot. Everything drives in nice and tight. Now, when I go to step, I want to avoid the temptation to lift my hips away. I don't want any space here. I have no power right now. It's going to be all arms. Instead, my hips are underneath of me. We're going to push off of our outside leg. Head is leaning in to start distributing his weight laterally. And now we're going to cut the leg off as we drive through. That's the double leg takedown.